In today's tutorial, I will show you the cheapest way of how you can sell your digital products such as an ebook. I'm going to show you how you can sell an ebook, starting with the sales page, going to the checkout page, and then connecting the checkout page with your email provider. So whenever a customer buys an ebook for you, they basically receive an email with the ebook to download. So let's get started and show you how easy it is to set up. Okay, so the first step is to create your sales page. So whether you have show it like I use here or you have Squarespace or WordPress, the first thing you got to do is create a sales page. And if you have no idea how to create a sales page, make sure to watch this video right here because it will save you so much time. I even have a free template that you can download in order to really get a sales page that converts. So the big piece really that you're trying to figure out now is you have this page, but now when you click on this button, I want this, you will go nowhere. But where we need to go is a checkout page. So this is the first thing that we're going to work on is once we have the sales page, we're going to figure out how can we get the checkout page and link those two together. Because what you want to happen is that this button right here should have a click action to a URL, right? And the URL should be the checkout, but we don't have that URL now. So that's the big thing that we need to focus on first. So let's figure out how we can get a checkout page. This is why we need to go to Stripe first. Okay, once you log in to your Stripe account, you will go to payments. By the way, if you don't have a Stripe account yet, I actually have a video on how to create your Stripe account. So definitely check that out if you don't have that yet. It's a super easy to follow step-by-step -step tutorial. So definitely make sure to check this out. And when you click on payments, you will go to payment links. Let's do this. Okay, let me just move my screen real quick. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new payment link. So we click on this button here, new. Okay, and now you can see a checkout page here, even has Apple Pay, pretty cool, right? So for our ebook, what we wanna do, let's move this over here, is we're gonna click on here and click on product. Then for the product, we're going to add a new product because I haven't created this one yet. So add a new product. In this new product, we're going to say side hustle roadmap ebook. You can do a description. You can upload an image if you want to, but you don't have to at all. Let's see taxes. I have general services. It's not a tangible good. And then the big piece is the price. So here we would put in 49 US dollars. Awesome. And you can see here that it updates and you also have an example of the sales tax. What is really cool is if you were to create a membership via this method that I'm teaching you in this video, you could just click on recurring and then monthly, every three month, yearly custom. So it's really cool because you literally with this tutorial could technically even create a membership, but we're going to focus on an ebook today. So we're going to click on one time $49 and click on add product. And then you can see here how it automatically updates everything on the side. And then on the left side, you can see here the side has a roadmap ebook. You can add another product. We're not going to do this and then collect taxes automatically. Check that for sure. Okay, and then you can collect customer addresses. I always prefer this because for tax reasons, you wanna know where that person paid the bill from so that your accountant has a way easier job at the end of the year. And then you can ask require customers to provide a phone number. I usually don't check it because again, the more fields you add to your checkout, the more friction you introduce. And checkout has only one job and one job only, which is you want to convert as fast as possible. That's why you have Apple Pay. It's 
the trick. Okay, perfect. And you can add custom fills. We're not going to do this. There are also some advanced options. If you allow promo codes, you can have that here, but we're going to skip all of this and we're going to click on create link, which is up here. So let me move this real quick and we set create link. Awesome. Okay. Now you've got the link right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this one. So click on copy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our original site that we have, whether it's show it Squarespace or WordPress and literally where the button is, where we have the URL, you're just going to copy paste this here. So let's do this real quick so you can see what it looks like. Okay. So we're back at it and we're going to click on our button. See click actions. We're going to check URL here and we're going to copy paste the URL that we just created. So we just did this. And then the most important thing is make sure that it opens in a new window because you always want to make sure that your customer comes back to your side and you want to retain them. So open a new window and then you click on publish so that you make sure that you actually have the latest version. Let's do this real quick. And when I click on, I want this, let's see where we go. <gasps> it's our checkout page. Yay. Look at this. Doesn't this look super professional? And I mean, super duper easy to do, right? So we have the first step completed, which is connecting your sales page to the checkout. Now, the big problem is whenever a customer would now check out and purchase your ebook, you will get a notification via email from Stripe that someone purchased your ebook. However, they would not automatically receive your ebook, which is problematic. So meaning right now, if you just set up what we discussed, you would not really unlock the power of full passive income yet because you would still have to send out the ebook manually, which is not ideal. This is why we need to connect the checkout experience with the email provider. I have Flowdesk. If you have something else, you choose that, but this is really key. So because right now you could not wake up in the morning, seeing all of these great Stripe messages that you just created a sale, you would also have a lot of customer support emails saying, where the heck is my ebook? So you don't want that to happen. And this is why we're going to now create the foundation in Flowdesk to basically set up a workflow that automatically sends out the ebook. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on audience here. We're going to create a new segment and we're going to call it side hustle road map ebook. We're going to make this green and we're going to save it. And so that way we now created this side hustle road map ebook. Pretty cool, right? Okay. So this is literally the foundation of it. And now next, we're going to set up a workflow. Okay. You see here that I already have it all prepared, but what I love Flowdesk so much is that you can automate so many workflows. And if you need to see a tutorial on how I create workflows, definitely check out this video right here. If it's not up yet, make sure to subscribe because it's going to be up there very soon. And the big piece here is that you make sure, okay, whenever a subscriber is added to this segment, right? The ebook side hustle roadmap. What that means is then, it triggers sending this email right here. And this email, when I click on this is basically the deliverable of the ebook. So when a customer gets this and they click on download now, they receive the ebook. Pretty cool, right? So now let's finish this up. So what you see here now is then I wait five days. And then after that, I'm going to add them to my email newsletter. I'm going to wait a little bit because I don't want to bombard my new customers right away with emails. So this is why I have this set up, which is so cool. So then the big piece now is you have this workflow, but now the question is how do you actually get a customer to that workflow? And this is where Zapier comes in and Zapier, if you've never heard of it, it's basically 
an API provider and they make APIs super easy. So an API basically connects two different programs and you basically say what kind of information you want to have transferred over from one program to another. So what is great is you don't have to hire any software engineers. You can just do it yourself. And the first few Zapiers are actually for free. And even if you just sell this ebook, it's for free, which is wild. I mean, if you start selling more, you have to pay more. But again, the upfront cost is like almost zero, which I love so much about all of this. Okay, so let's create our Zapier connection. Okay, so we're in the Zapier dashboard now. It's super easy to create an account. And once you have your account, you click on Create Zap. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the trigger, which is whenever someone purchases your ebook, right? So we're going to say this trigger is coming from Stripe. And then we choose an event. So what we're going to do is we basically say whenever there is a new payment that just happened. So click on that. Continue. And this is key, like if you haven't linked your Stripe account to Zapier yet, it will probably ask you. I already did this, so you can see the check mark. And then we hit continue. And then there is the test trigger. So we're gonna test the trigger. And then you will get some test purchases. And let's say we're selecting this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say continue with selected record. Okay, now this is really key. So the problem now is technically anytime you have a new payment, it will send the email over to what we're gonna do next, Flowdesk. But we don't want any payment to go through it, right? We only want it from the side hustle roadmap ebook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a condition. So I'm gonna click on that plus sign and gonna click on filter. So meaning like we're saying like, hey, okay, all of these payments are coming through, but not all of them we're want to have basically going into the email providers like net new list, which is the one um, segment that we're going to create in Flowdesk. So it says only continue if, and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on choose field. And then you can see here different things. And so we know that the ebook costs $49. So we're gonna click on the amount and the choose the condition is, does not contain, contains exactly matches. And then we're gonna put in $49. So that's basically it, meaning. If you have other Stripe links and you're paying coaching services, one-on-one -on -one coaching services, for instance, for like, let's say $299 an hour, then this doesn't interfere with that. It won't send it over to Flowdesk. So this is why I love this. So it only sends it if something is $49, which is the ebook that we have. If you happen to sell another ebook for $49, this doesn't work. I just wanna let you know. Okay, so let's click on continue. This is basically now our filter. Okay, and this is cool. It says your app would not have continued, right? Because we don't have in that test data a $49 purchase. So this is really, really key. Okay, so let's click on continue. We're aware of this. And then the next piece here is what is the desired action? So we just set everything up like the trigger basically, hey, whenever there's a new payment coming in from Stripe and it is, $49, exactly $49, then and only then we want to create a new segment in Flowdesk. So, so what we want to do is we want to have Flowdesk here. And if you have Active Campaign or MailChimp, you can add that instead. The event is to create a new subscriber. We click on continue. You connect your Flowdesk account if you haven't done that yet. You click on continue. And now what we're going to do is we choose the segment, which is the ebook site hustle roadmap that we created. We're gonna search the email. So we're just gonna put an email and you see here, customer email. That's what we're gonna use. Perfect. You're gonna put the first name here. So you choose name. 
and you see customer name. So that's the one. I leave last name as is and then click continue. And then you can test the action. So I will skip this test for now, but please do try it out. Just click skip test and then you click on publish. And that's literally it. So now you establish the connection between your checkout experience, filtering it through, so only the $49 ebook sales goes through, all the way to your email provider. So now what we're gonna do is when we test this, we wanna make sure that that person actually receives the email. So let's test this real quick and check if it worked. Et voila, here is the Side Hustle Roadmap. And you can click on download now and you got the ebook. Pretty cool, right? Okay, and what's most important is to test it, right? So if you don't wanna uh, use your credit card and then kind of get yourself a refund, or what you can do is you can just click on test mode and you can create a test payment link. And then what's really great about this is you see here, customers won't be charged for the payment link. But what you can do is if you use this link, you can just see if the flow works that we just created and make sure that everything is all good to go and you don't have any customers that are mad at you about not delivering your ebook or digital services. So this is just a little hack for you. I hope this was super helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to help serve you. So if this was a little bit too technical for you, don't worry. I actually have two other tutorials on how to sell an ebook the easy way, but the only thing is it will cost you more in fees. So definitely make sure to check them out. I will link them here, but I will also link them in the description below. I hope this was super helpful. Let me know what you think and definitely make sure to celebrate your first payment here in the comments below.